Hi, in this video I'm going to be working with SwiftPos back office again. Um, I'm going to be uh, demonstrating how you can uh, modify uh, product records, um, changing their description or price or, or what have you. Um, so I'm just going to start by logging in using the default clerk 0 and pin 0. And on the main menu over on the left, I'm going to navigate to the products menu and the product records submenu. This will open up the product records screen just as you see here um, and it should list all of the products that exist in your database uh, down, the, uh, down the center part of the screen here. At the very top of the screen you'll see this section in blue. This is your product search filters. Um, there's a little arrow at the top here you can use to collapse that if you don't want to see it. Um, but generally I have that open because I interact with it quite a lot. Um, and you can search for a product, um, whatever you happen to be looking for, in a number of different ways. Um, for example, if you know what it's called, you can type all or part of the description in here. Um, if you know exactly what PLU number you're looking for, you can search for it there. Or you can search for uh, a specific category of product. So for example, let's say hot drinks and you can still filter this um, using multiple filters all at once so if I want to look at let's say all of the mug products I can put mug in the description press enter and it will filter out anything that's in that category with the word mug in it so let's have a look at this first product cafe latte mug you can see basic information about the product across the top here, the product code, the PLU number, the group that it's in, the name of the group, uh, the category name, um, various other things that might be useful to you. To enter the full edit screen of that particular um, product, you can either double click on the little blue square there, or you can click on full edit down the bottom here. Um, you can see that the product records tab is greyed out. Um, you can't interact with that while you have the full edit of a product open. Uh, as soon as I close out of this, you'll then be able to interact with product records again. So at the very top, you've got the description, the product code, the PLU number, um, the short description, which is used in certain circumstances. For example, um, sometimes kitchen printing or um, sometimes the POS display. Um, in general though, this is the description that you'll see uh, on the main screen. If you want to change the price of a product, this grid over here has your various different price levels. By default you'll see 10 different price levels uh, and they might not all be named um, in this fashion. Um, you have your GP listed. Uh, the GP is calculated from whatever the cost is um, versus the, the selling price and you can see that that's quite high because my cost is almost nil. So to change the price of the product you've got your price column here. You can just click into that field and type in the new price. So 4.2 for $4.20, 4.5 and so on. Um, now you don't have to change all of the different price levels if you're not using them. Um, and different price levels might be used at different terminals or in different circumstances. So for example, um, dine-in coffee might be uh, slightly more expensive than takeaway coffee. Um, as you make your changes, uh, you can save them as you go using the save button down the bottom here. If you finish making all of the changes that you want to make, you can click save and close to return to the product records uh, menu and you can move on and to, uh, modify other products. Now using the search filters, I've filtered out everything with mug in the name. So if I edit the first product, and let's say I'm changing the prices of all of the mug products, um, if you have a look down the bottom here, you can see that there are little arrows that allow you to navigate between products. Now this is actually navigating between the different products 
um, that I had filtered out. So if I click on the next button, you can see that's now looking at the Cafe Mocha mug and so on. So it's a good way to quickly navigate between a set um, of products um, and quickly change their prices as you work through them. If you want to change the description of the product, um, you simply add or remove whatever text you want in the product description. Um, to quickly add the short um, description, you can click on the little blue text up the top here, and that will copy the first 16 characters of the product description and put them in here. Um, if that's a fairly long description, you might want to modify the short description so that it makes a little bit more sense you can go ahead and change a bunch of prices and they won't take effect on the terminals until after you've updated the terminals. So I'm going to quickly cover that now. I'm going to close out of the product full edit screen and navigate to connect touch settings and touch pause terminals. Note that I've still got the um, product records uh, window open. Um, you can have uh, multiple screens open that'll open up in a tabbed fashion up the top of the screen so that you can quickly switch between them. Um, now I don't actually have any terminals online these are all just uh, for demonstration um, but to update a single terminal you can click on that particular terminals records um, or, that, or that line in the grid highlight it and click on full update and it'll send a full update to the terminal. You can also send just changes as well if you've only changed a couple of things um, and you want to send them quick, uh, a, a, a bit more quickly. Um, if you want to update everything or all of the terminals in your list you can select all your terminals just by dragging a box around them or holding shift and using your up and down arrows and sending an update. Those updates will head down to the terminals, presuming that the terminal is actually online, which mine are not. Um, and generally, uh, they'll take effect when the till has been idle for a set number of minutes, um, so that it's not interrupting a, a staff member as they're trying to, to make a sale. I can close out of that tab. And if you already have some filters in your product records um, uh, search filters, and you want to get rid of them, there's a reset button. If you click reset, that will remove the category that I selected and it will blank the description. So now we're back to a list of all of, all of our different products. Um, so that pretty much covers uh, changing product uh, descriptions and prices and how to navigate the product records um, part of the software. There are a few more uh, complex tasks that we might cover in uh, future videos, but for now that's the, the most basic and the most common um, changes that you might make to product records. Um, I will be making more videos uh, covering different and um, possibly more complex uh, operations in SwiftPos. Um, so keep a lookout for those videos and if you do find something that um, you want to know more about, uh, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment uh, asking for a, a guide on how to do that particular thing. So I, I hope this helped and um, thanks for watching.